Hi, I'm Kevin Kasu. I'm a photographer based in Kohima, Nagaland. I do all sorts of photography, but I focus in fashion. No, I was never trained as a photographer. I picked it up from my friends, and then later on I learned it from the internet. Professionally, it took off from Instagram only. So I was just doing it for the sake of just doing it. But one day there came a request saying like how much do I charge? That changed the whole scenario of my career. Uh, my friends started inspiring me from the beginning and they still inspire me in the, in, uh, the works they do. Or just the small things. It doesn't have to be like photography. It can be anything. Music or anything that's happening around me. Anything can inspire me. So today I'll be meeting some people who have been uh, infected by HIV and I'll be listening to their stories and I'll be photographing them. Yes, I've heard about HIV but I'm not deeply aware about the testing so I'm hoping I'll learn about that today. I had uh, interactions with two of them and actually like their stories really inspired me. It showed me how strong they were and how strong a person can be. See like I'm a very spontaneous photographer. Sometimes I plan but sometimes whatever is happening in the moment I just picture it. Bye. Personally, for storytelling, I always lean towards black and white. It just comes out naturally. That is the reason I chose black and white for this story. Just explain. So, uh, this is one of the ladies who is positive. She was very open about it, which I really appreciated. And she had a very sad story in the past. After she became positive, even her husband left her. And she was really discriminated by her family. So, but now she's living a very happy life helping people. So, the, so this image signifies that the weight of the light in her life is stronger than the past. And the second one. So this is the second woman who was positive. See, there's a broken chair. She's looking at it. So right now they're like helping a lot of positive people who needs help. So a broken chair signifies a broken positive people. She's looking at them. She can help them. She can, they can come and sit. So it's kind of like, yep, that. I love this photograph because like in this picture, they are like both negative and positive people. They are colleagues of these two ladies happily like holding each other, laughing together. So after I met those two ladies, I literally understood the importance of testing. Because sometimes you might be positive, uh, years later you discover and the virus would have like taken a toll on you. My thoughts on HIV has like completely changed. It doesn't seem as deadly as it sounds. I was able to shake hands with them, laugh with them, and it's just normal. Those two ladies are living the best time of their lives. Through these photographs, I would just like to convey to the people that even the positive people are all human beings. We have nothing to fear about them. We can all live peacefully in harmony. The emerging number of HIV in Aglin is rising. So let's all get tested and let's spread the awareness. <laughs>